Hello, church family. This is Ben and Regina Keel, and we're excited to share today's message with you. I will be reading from Matthew 5, 43, 44, and 48. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. As I read this, the thing that stuck out the most to me was love your enemies. And I thought, how do I do that? And what came to my mind was I don't, I can't. Uh, and I fail every single time I try. And then God gently reminded me that I can do it, but only with the help of his spirit. Uh, when I depend on the Holy Spirit to love my enemies, um, that is the only way I can be successful. And it reminded me of John chapter 13, where it says a new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. By loving others, including our enemies, people will see Jesus. They will know that we're disciples and see him in us. And as I ponder and think about everything that's going on in our world today and all the division that's happening, I think we can keep it super simple and just remember if we do nothing else to love one another. Yeah, and, and for me, as I thought about what does it look like to, to love your enemies, uh, I think Jesus was the first to not only preach about it, but to live it out. As I thought about him being crucified and killed, yet he continued to show unconditional love throughout. And as Jesus said, I think, well, as Regina said, well, it's easy for Jesus to do that because uh, he's Jesus. And, and so how am I supposed to do that? It's only through the Holy Spirit in which I can do that. I think another big part for me that hit me home is, or hit home with me is, uh, I have to make it less about myself and less about what others do to me. Uh, I need to detach myself from both those things, from what others do and also from myself and become more like Jesus. So it's only through that where I'm going to be successful at loving our enemies. So with that, let's close in prayer. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your word. Uh, we thank you for the, the invitation, yet the big challenge that you give down to us. We we thank you for this message of loving our enemies, especially in a season of life that, that seems to be so divided. Uh, we just ask for your power to, to be more like you, for your Holy Spirit to, to live more in us each and every day so that we truly can live out what you ask us to do by loving our enemies. In your son's great name we pray. Amen.